Hi friends, myself Asha Napagi Dari, and here I come to say you about a compound interest. First, what do you mean by compound interest? I will explain about a compound interest. Then the formula of compound interest. Then how to solve the sums using the formulas. Compound interest. First, we'll understand about a word interest. What we'll understand about a word interest. Huh. First one is interest. What is interest? It is a money paid by the borrower to the money lender for the use of money borrowed. Here, uh, there are two persons. You just think there are two persons. This is poor. This is rich. why he becomes a lender because he had given him first one 500 rupees because he was in need of that 500 rupees here why he becomes lender because he gives him a money and he wants that money back so he becomes lender it means when he uh, who uh, the who is going to give a money back is and who is going to who is going to give money back is called borrower and who is going to get that money is called lender. Now, there are two types in interest. One is simple interest and one is compound interest. Here, I am going to explain about your compound interest. Because I uh, I want to explain is because this, I want to say you many, about, many uh, things how to solve using the formula. Here. Here I am going to explain about the compound interest. What is compound interest? A money is said to be uh, to be lent at a compound interest when the interest which has become due at the end of the certain fixed period is not paid to the money lender but is added to the sum lent. The amount thus obtained becomes the principal for the next period. In small terms to say what is compound interest is the interest on a loan or a deposit which is calculated based on both the initial principal and the accumulated in the interest for the previous periods. So, how to find the compound interest? There is one formula called compound interest is equals to final amount minus original principal. CI is equals to A minus P. There are two ways to find the CI. One using formula and one without using formula. In this two, I am going to explain about only one with using formula. There are two form. There are three formulas. Just wait and correct it. There are three formulas. One is compounded yearly, one is half yearly, and one is rate in successive. In this, I am going to explain you only about one. That is compounded yearly. The formula of compound and yearly is amount is equals to A is equals to P into 1 plus R by 100 raised to N. Where A is equals to amount, P is equals to principal, R is equals to rate and N is equals to number of years. So, I will solve one sum on uh, that uh, formula called compounded yearly. Solving the sum using the formula of compounded yearly. The question, the question, find the amount, and compound interest on rupees sixteen thousand in three years. at 10% annum per annum here per means only one annum only one year or one annum per annum means one annum here annum means a oh, year you just think as year now here given things are Given, given our principal. 
Here, what is principal? A principal is sixteen thousand. Here, number of years. Yen. Is three years, and rate rate is ten percent. So here we uh, we here principal is sixteen thousand. Number of years is three years. Rate is ten percent. Now the formula. Formula: Amount is equals to principal into one plus R by hundred raised to yen. Here, what is amount is uh, sorry. Uh, here, the amount is not given, so we can write A. Here, what is principal? Sixteen thousand and the rate is ten percent. Let this one be like that. And here number of years is three. This we can call it as a cube also. A is equals to sixteen thousand. We'll cancel here, and here uh, it is here uh, below the one the denominator is not given. So if we take LCM, here LCM is ten. Then we will multiply, and we can uh, here ten. Then it will be ten eleven by ten cube. A is equals to sixteen thousand into eleven by ten into eleven by ten into eleven by ten. Here we'll cancel. So we cancel the zeros. So here all the denominators are one. Then we should not consider that one. So we just multiply this sixteen uh, into eleven into eleven. First we'll multiply this all eleven. Eleven into eleven is one twenty one. Then one twenty one into eleven. Sixteen into one twenty one into eleven is one thousand three hundred and thirty one. Then A is equal to so we'll multiply this and we will get the answer is rupees twenty one thousand two ninety six. Then we'll get this answer. We'll find C I. C I is uh, A minus P. So here A is uh, amount is twenty one thousand two hundred and ninety six. Then minus the uh, principal is sixteen thousand. Then if we subtract, we will get the answer as uh, rupees five thousand two ninety six. Here, therefore, your C I is. Five thousand two ninety six rupees. Five thousand two ninety six. So here the CI is five thousand two hundred and ninety six. Thank you, friends. If you like my video, please like the video.